morning. Hello. This is one of my favorite things that I get to do with Bless Mama Bosses, which is Wednesday in the Word. So I'm so excited to come to you guys. I haven't been on here in like two weeks for Wednesday in the Word. Kelly's been doing them the last two weeks and I've missed it so much. So if you are new to Bless Mama Bosses, which we have a ton of you that are new, and if you are, welcome. We're so excited you're here. My name is Blair Critch. I'm one half of Bless Mama Bosses. We created this group for you, for women. We both felt called after earning millions in our small businesses with multiple businesses and being moms. We were asked over the years so many times questions that we decided to compile it all and bring it to you guys here in this group and in our membership group because we really truly believe that you can achieve the success that you want to achieve, maintain it, or even do better without sacrificing time with your family. And we do that in here with tips, strategies, and skills to help you do that. But one of the things that's been most important to Kelly and myself is our faith. And we both have the same faith and it is something that has grounded us, that has helped us, that has pushed us through those hard times. And it's also something uh, that we both felt was really important when we created this group was to give back to God for all that he has given to us. So I want to start by saying if your faith is not the same as Kelly and I's, that's okay. Stay in the group. We love having you here. If your faith is different than us and you don't think that this Wednesday in the Word is relevant to you, stay and listen because it will be. Because all of the books like Think and Grow Rich and books like How to Win Friends and Influence People and Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and all of those great bestseller books have all said that they got their main outline, all of John Maxwell's books, their main points that they share with you are all from the Holy Bible, from the Word. So we're going to be sharing that with you guys today. There is something you can gain from it, I promise, whether you have the same faith or not. And at the end of this, we always like to take a time of prayer. So if you ever have a prayer request, something you'd like us to pray over you on, feel free to post it in the comments or feel free to send it to us by private message. We would love to hear from you. So to this morning, I'm actually going to be reading from my phone. It's one of my apps. I love having apps that I can take with me anywhere I go and not having to carry one of those books behind me with me. Um, and this one is actually from the Jesus Calling app. And just so you guys can see, um, they basically it's an easy app to use. And today is all about do not worry about tomorrow. And the reason that I was so glad when I woke up this morning and read this one is because I have felt like decision fatigue. How many of you guys have been feeling decision fatigue or information overload or overwhelmed with anxiety about all the stuff you're seeing right now? Okay, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Hearing things about the sex trafficking and Wayfair and the Epstein case and uh, all those things, hearing things about, you know, criminals and or social injustice or about race or about politics or about the coronavirus, will school start, will school not start? I and mean, you guys can hear my voice changing as I share those things. I can feel my heart racing. There are so many things going on right now in our world, okay? But there's always been things going on in this world. If you read the Bible in the Old Testament, there was always turmoil. In the New Testament, always turmoil, right? There's always been things, right? Shanna, your husband is without a job. Like, my heart breaks for you. We get that. And it is a lot, and you're probably having to make a lot of decisions, and you're on information overload because you guys are trying to figure out what to do and how to do it, right? And that is exactly what I want you to think about today as I read this, because here's the thing. We can't worry about tomorrow. We have to take action. We have to do the things we're supposed to, and that's why sometimes I get a little bit of decision fatigue because we do have to make these decisions. We do have to decide on these things. We do have to think ahead. We do have to plan ahead, right? Kelly and I are huge planners. You guys know that. That's why we give away the freebie Master Your Time because it's important to us. We know about mastering your time. However, we can't worry about tomorrow. God's got your back. So listen to this devotion. Do not worry about tomorrow. This is not a suggestion, but a command. I divided time into days and nights so that you would have manageable portions of life to handle. My grace is sufficient for you, but it is sufficient. It is sufficiency is only for one day at a time. When you worry about the future, you heap day upon day of troubles onto your flimsy frame. You stagger under this heavy load, which I never intended you to carry. I throw off this oppressive burden with one quick thrust of trust. Anxious thoughts meander about and crisscross in your brain, but trusting me brings you directly into my presence. 
Listen to that again. Trusting me brings you directly into my presence and you thus affirm your faith. Shackles of worry fall off instantly. Enjoy my presence continually by trusting me at all times. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 6, 34. So I hope that as you heard that today, you were thinking, I can't worry about tomorrow. Yes, we have to plan for the days ahead, but we can't worry about tomorrow. And, you know, God broke us up into the days, into the nights. So one of the biggest things that I have found for me that has really helped, and I'm going to share this with you guys, um, is going back to my affirmations. You know, I'm big on affirmations. Uh, I know that Kelly's big on affirmations. Most people who've had major success in their life do affirmations and visualization. And I realized that I was feeling very anxious this summer with all the decisions that we had to make and with coronavirus and with, um, you know, riots going on in our area, with police problems going on in our area, with um, all these different things, right? Should we travel? Should we not travel? Should I go to this store? Should I not go to the store? Can my kids go here? Can they not? Right? It was a lot. And um, I decided to go back and redo my affirmations, which is something I actually personally love to do every 90 days. And right now, this wouldn't normally be the time that I would do it. I normally do it in January and at the beginning of the summer and at the beginning of the school year. But this year, because of everything going on, I decided to rewrite mine the other day. So I wrote three for my family, three for my wealth, three for health, three for my personal business, and three for Blessed Mama Boss's inner circle. And then I put them in these frames so that they're right here on my desk and so that every morning I read them, every afternoon I read them, and it just stops and calms me. So my practice is to read my affirmations, and then it is to pray, and then it is to look at my vision board. So think about this. Every time I sit down in my office, because I get up and I move about and I have a lot of different time blocks, that I do, but this stops me, it calms me, it reminds me that I can't worry about tomorrow, all I can think about is today, all right? So I hope this was helpful for you guys today. Share with us your tips. What do you do to stay in the presence of today, to not worry about tomorrow, to not get decision fatigue? Share with us below, let's encourage each other in this. And I'm gonna lift you up in prayer right now. If you have anything specifically, Shannon, I'm gonna be praying for you and your husband. If anybody else has anything, please feel free, even if you're watching this later on replay, you can drop it in the comments or feel free to send me a private message. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the women in here who are growing, who are learning, who are wanting to be better, who are wanting to not only serve their own growth using the gifts and talents that you've given them, but they wanna serve their community. They wanna serve their family. They wanna bring about generational wealth and change the path and the future of their family. I lift up to you, Shauna, today, and I pray for her and her husband as they're embarking onto this new path with her husband not having a job right now. I pray that you would open up doors of opportunity, doors of opportunity for her to help out her husband, doors of opportunity for him to find a job that would help him right now. I pray that you would just put your hand of grace over them. I lift up to you, anybody who's feeling that anxiety of worrying about tomorrow, that you would help this message today to ease their heart, to ease their mind, to help them to focus on the things they need to. I pray over our businesses that you would help them to continue to grow, help us to know what we need to do to grow in them. I pray for the members of Inner Circle that you would continue to bless them and help them grow in their business as they learn and develop their skills. I pray over our families that you would protect them. I pray over the coronavirus that they would quickly find a cure, that they would quickly find a vaccine that is safe for all, that we can all use so we can get back to life as normal. But I pray that when life does get back to normal, that we would remember the things that were blessings during this time, like the extra time we have with our family, the not being overly busy, the being able to be with one another, the, the things that were not necessities that we let go of. I pray that you would remind us of that because it is such a blessing. And Lord, I pray that we could just cast our anxieties on you. I thank you that we don't need to worry. And I pray over each and every woman today that she would feel uplifted by this message. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Have a great day, guys. I hope you have a great day. Make it a great day for others. If you think this is inspiring, thank you so much, Shauna. Then please invite others into this group. That's what it's here for. We want to grow this group authentically, real, and organically by you guys inviting others. That's the only way it will grow. We want it to grow with women who are wanting to grow their businesses and grow in their faith and be amazing business women and moms at the same time. So you guys have a great day and make it a great day for others.